Jim, many congratulations. Three for round two here at Alexander Palace. Great comeback win, must be delighted with that. Uh, obviously delighted with the win, but yeah, I'll just really nerve myself to tough one to get through. The first set wasn't the highest of quality, but after that, both of you played particularly well. Both have been over 90 over the map, so I'd be impressed with the way you bounced back from that. Oh, yeah, after the first <coughs> I mean, I looked, just, I looked at it extremely early, I was just like, I was just sexy out. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really tough not to get embarrassed with that. Must be pleased though with the character you showed, and often the first game is the toughest, so you've got that out of the way now and move forward. Yeah, I, I, I just really struggled with nerves today. Normally I'm pretty good with that, but yeah, everything I find is difficult. I mean, my first start just you know, so many times. It's, it's difficult then because you block in, block in the target. It's, yeah, it's a Looking back now on 2022 as a whole, your first full year on the PDC circuit, you won a Pro Tour title, that win now lifts you provisionally into the world's top 54, so I must be really happy with your progress so far. Yeah, I, I've been inconsistent, but you know, I, I don't know where near enough time this, this, this level deserves to do this, but you know, I managed to punch a few quid here and there, so yeah, it's a tough. You mentioned about not putting enough work in, is that going to change looking ahead now to 2023? I'm trying to, yeah, I'm putting everything in place to hopefully do that. I mean, I'm starting to get success. So that's taken a lot of my time. You know, and I've got a young family, and I, yeah, priorities for me at the moment are darts, um, but I, I need to make it happen. I'm just looking ahead now into round two. James Wade up next. What are your thoughts on that matchup? Quality yeah, play. It's great. Yeah, it's good, isn't he? But I, I always feel comfortable playing games, so yeah, I feel like I'm relaxed a just, just try it, mate. Even if he gave me just to give him a game, I struggled to make. Thank you, Juan. Jim, congratulations. Just touching on what you said there, is it possible to be a part time dark player in the BBC now? It's going to get tough and tough on. Yeah, I mean, no. Probably not. It depends what you want on the next to submit. Make the money on offers is amazing, really, and, and it's more probably than making my, my day job. But like I've invested so much into that and that pays my bills and it looks after my family so that's my priority. On the game itself, did you know much about Sebastian? Did you maybe overlook him a little bit? Oh, I definitely, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I honestly didn't know him. I've seen him um, in the video you know, tournaments and played very well. You know, uh, even practicing with him when you put that, he was, he was very straight. Um, I'd say, for us setting like, three now and I was here for so. Against what was it like coming back here? Obviously, last year, all the momentum and the Joe Cullen walk on and, and everything like that. Was it was it hard to re realign yourself here for the memories of last year or not? Yeah, you, you learn and all the time I knew it was a completely different game against Joe. Um, yeah, I come like flying um, and then perhaps when in the back thinking about it, um, which you can't really do, you've just got to get something from my back, just try and keep it. Jim, was the 3-0 the loss in that opening set, was it a little bit of a wake-up call that you needed to, to find Probably. your better darts? Yeah, but, it, but maybe the best thing that happened, I mean, but like I said, I was so nervous and sometimes if you can just pinch these sets, it does suck you a little bit, but like the set, mm. so I was on massive pressure already because 2 0 down, you're kind of out of it. Mm. The nerves are a bit of a surprise to you. You've obviously played on lots of the big stages now. You've obviously been here before as well. Was, did you did you think you'd be that nervous? No, honestly, no. Like I said, I said in another interview, I was like really unprepared today. Um, yeah, probably. I don't know what it was. I underestimated today. I think a little bit. Yeah, you've talked about. Uh, your business and obviously your, your family life. What has the last couple of weeks leading up to this tournament been like? Have you been able to get the practice in? Yeah, I've, I've not practiced for probably three years since lockdown. Um, hardly anything at all. Um, which, <laughs> it doesn't get you anywhere doing that. I've been lucky maybe, or just, uh, I, I suppose mainly I've just managed to drag myself through games. I know I need to come in Cheers, Jim. Thank you. Uh, Jim, yeah, it's a bit difficult out of the gate, but um, how difficult is it to understand when you're playing a debutante on that stage where you don't know what they can bring? Even if you know he's getting perfectly, you don't know what he's going to bring to that stage. How difficult is it to just kind of calibrate what's happening around you in a moment like that? Yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I mean, the first set, I thought, just if, if you win the first set, because no one knows how they're going to play out there, it puts him under pressure, and I played so bad. And, uh, 
I think it, it kind of relaxed him, so, and then he played well. Um, yeah, so I made a mistake there, but you know, he yeah, dragged himself through it. As you drag yourself through it, how do you kind of recenter and keep those nerves going when you're too down? Yeah. Please tell me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. That was just, you need to try and get yourself a little bit more somehow. Um, yeah, I did it a couple of times and it was just, yeah, funny day. And with the nerves there, and approaching a game, you're saying you're not practicing as much as you'd like to, what sort of challenges is your game bringing to you specifically? What, for me personally, like... Yeah, so like scoring, you know, doubles, what, what challenges are you coming across as you... I don't know, I, <laughs> consistency. Um, I mean, I've always been consistent, sort of mid-90s, you know, my sort of average game. And it would do a lot of games up, but I need to work perhaps on my A game a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and just, if you can have a little purple patch in this and you win four or five legs in a row, you know, it gives you a massive advantage that, so that's something I need to work on perhaps. Yeah.